So do you remember me mentioning Brahms in a previous video? This one right here called Pros and Cons of Living in Oklahoma. Well, now I want to show you what Brahms is actually like. So let's go. Okay, so as you can see, I am driving. And you may be thinking, Marcy, that seems a little dangerous. People do it all the time though. It's fine, I'm not really looking at the camera. And I want to take you to one of our Oklahoma establishments is this restaurant slash ice cream store slash grocery store. And we have them everywhere. You're never more than like 10 minutes I would say typically from one, especially if you're like in one of the city centers or close to one. And the store that I'm talking about is Brahms. So let's go, let's go check it out. So this Brahms is about 10 minutes from my house. I mean, not even really, I think it's more like five. So I live in Brookhaven. If you haven't seen my Brookhaven video, then you should definitely check that out. Clearly I have to keep my eyes on the road here. There's a lot of different Brahms in Norman itself. They're all over the place. So you can see here like how many there are. So. I've lived in a lot of different places in Norman and like I've never been more than five to ten minutes away from one. So why are these so useful? Why do we love them so much? People liken them to like In-N-Out in California or Texas. They have In-N-Outs in Texas now and people like will drive from Oklahoma to Texas to get to the In-N-Out, which is fine. I get it. And then some people will say like Whataburger is better. Um, I haven't heard much about like White Castle versus Brahms. I've never been to a White Castle. I haven't really traveled in the north very much. So that explains that. But Brahms is like, like I said, it's like a grocery store. If you need something quick, you can go. If you want some really inexpensive ice cream, you go to Brahms and we do that a lot for sure. And I'll show you the prices on that delicious ice cream. And then of course you can get breakfast there, you can get burgers, you can get coffee. So let's see what we can get and if you guys wanna try it. So I know other Oklahomans are gonna have lots of different opinions about Brahms. And of course there are Brahms all over the like five states surrounding or like the four other states surrounding. But we have the most Brahms here in Oklahoma because the dairy farm is here, it's in Tuttle, which I think, I mean, it's like a 30 minute drive. I've never actually been out to the dairy farm because <laughs> because why would I? I live in Norman, like we don't do that kind of, you know, touristy thing to go out and see the dairy farm. So I've never been before. I know what a bunch of cows smell like, of course, because I did grow up on a ranch, so I can just imagine. But I have lots of different memories about Brahms and growing up, so let's go check it out. So I'm Marcy Bill and I'm a real estate agent in Norman, Oklahoma. I cover most of the South Oklahoma City Metro. And my job is to show you guys what it's like to live here and to frequent Brahms and to go into Brahms and to know what it is and why we love it so much is a big part of Oklahomans lives. And like I said, a lot of my memories too. me so you can see that they had a ton of stuff I had to ask the manager to film and he looked at me like I was crazy so basically inside we have of course all this grocery store stuff which I remember as a child that my grandma wouldn't buy her milk anywhere else like we'd go from like the Walmart or whatever other grocery store I can't remember what it was called because she lived in a different town we'd go to the Walmart or we would pick up milk on the way back to her um, to the farm that she lived on because she only wanted Brahms milk and I'm guessing it's because she grew up on a dairy farm so she just really liked the milk from Brahms growing up my mom didn't actually she didn't uh, use the yeah the Brahms milk we never had Brahms milk but we had Brahms ice cream a lot my dad especially loved the triple sundae 
um, which I could never eat that much. Plus I don't like all the flavors to mix in that way. And then of course we have the food and I ordered the number one combo. And with this number one combo, you of course get the crinkle cut fries, you get your burger and this one had everything on it, including the mustard and the ketchup and everything. And then you can either get a drink or a shake. And I ended up getting the cherry limeade. And I really love their cherry limeades here, especially their cherry I really made sherbet, but they rarely, rarely have it, and I didn't even look for it today. But they definitely had it in the frozen section. And but the cherry I made is just it's delicious. Um, it is that refreshing summer taste that's just it's amazing. And then afterwards, I went to get some ice cream, asked the nice lady if I could film her getting my ice cream for me. And this is what I ended up getting. So this is a cup. I don't like cones because my teeth hurt whenever I eat them. But this is a cup of ice cream. This is $1.73. And I'm sorry, but can you get a, a scoop of ice cream anywhere else for $1.73? Like maybe, you know, Sonic has prices that are similar or I don't even know if you can get ice cream at Whataburger because I literally never go. But $1.73 and this is five minutes away from your house if you live near a city center. Like, meaning like, a town, any town. So <laughs> if you can tell me you wouldn't go here at least once a month to get your nightly fix of ice cream, then you're crazy. So this flavor is chocolate chip cookie dough. And it's really good. I like it because it has actual cookie dough in it or like a version that won't give you, give you salmonella. It's delicious. Um, I really like getting the junior shakes too. They have small, medium, and large, but they also have like the kid size, the junior, which is like a little bit bigger than this for a shake. And that's what I like to get here. Oh, and Brahms also has a drive-through in case, you know, you don't want to get out of the car. First Brahms opened up in 1961 in Oklahoma City. And I don't know how many there are in Oklahoma now, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot of Brahms. And like I said, we have a ton here in Norman and a ton all over the metro. And definitely an Oklahoma staple, something that you can't really get outside of these like five states right here. So when you move to Oklahoma, you also get to go to Brahms as much as you want. Thanks so much for watching and I would watch this video next.